Hello and welcome to the night's ghostly tale. Tonight's ghostly tale is about the Hand of Glory. A mysterious or magical thing, what was said to give the owner the power of invisibility, cunning, stealth, the ability to break into anywhere, any lock, when you had the Hand of Glory, would easily be picked. And with the Hand of Glory, anybody in the house wouldn't see you, but you would be able to see them with the light from the Hand of Glory. It also would put any residents in the house asleep. This was a treasured thing from a lot of criminals. And for the Hand of Glory, how you would get it was you would have to cut the hand off a person who had been hanged for a crime. You had to cut the left hand off, or in the case of a murder, you had to cut the hand off of the hand which had done the murder. Now, once you had the hand of glory, you had to soak it for a few weeks in the urine of a male, a female, a dog, a cat, uh, a mare, horse, and a stallion. When, when it had been soaked for a, a few weeks, then you had to bury it, wrapped in damp hay, and then leave it for about a year. Then you would dig it up again, and this would give you the Hand of Glory. Now, the Hand of Glory was sometimes had candles fitted to each finger, or the fingers themselves were the candles. And the fat in the fingers were used as candles. It was said that once the Hand of Glory was written, hit lit, it would never go out. Now, this tale I'm going to tell is from the Old Spittle Lane up in Bo Bo's Moor, just past Barnet Castle. Now, the Old Spittle Inn in the 1700s and 1800s was a coach house. And many people stopped there on their way either to Durham or over to the west. <clears throat> One night, there were two or three strangers in the inn, which was not uncommon. And these strangers were, but these strangers were acting a bit unusual. Anyway, as the night went on, they asked if they could stay the night. And the, the landlord says, you can, but there's no room. You would have to stay in the stables. They said, that is no problem. They went in the stables and everybody went to bed. Now, one of the maids was feeling uneasy about these people. And she had a, sort of a sixth sense and was thought that they were up to no good. Now, the thing with her hand glory was... Once the candles were lit, anybody who was in the building that you were robbing would be asleep, fall asleep, and wouldn't be awoken until the hand of glory was removed from the building. Any lock would be easy to pick. And if anybody did wake up, they would be unable to see you because the hand of glory, although it shone light, the only people who would see the light was the ones who had the hand of glory. Now, the maid, she, she was from Old Witch Stock and she knew a thing or two about magic. And she heard the noise of the door opening. She ran to the owner, the, the landlord, to try and wake him. Eventually, she woke him and got him to come downstairs. Three, the three people were coming into the building and because she, she, because of the magic she had done, her and the landlord was able to see the, the three burglars. A fight ensued and the landlord shot at the burglars. And in the confusion, the hand of glory was dropped. Straight away, the maid grabbed it, picked it up as it was crawling across and chucked it in the fire. When it landed in the fire, 
it started to move quicker and jumped out the fire. The, then she realised that there was only one thing to do. She once again grabbed the hand of glory and chucked it in a bucket of cow's milk. This immediately broke the spell of the hand of glory. The robbers, one of the robbers did get away, but the other two were shot. Now, if you ever go out and you see a hand going across, you might be in the presence of the hand of glory. If you want to see a real hand of glory, it is said that in the museum in Whitby, there is an old hand of glory, which you can see. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you have a good night. And if you feel something crawling over the bed, pray it's a spider or one of your pet dogs. Good night.